Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. Well, thanks for coming in to talk. About, we're going to talk about nature uh, with uh, George and Dayton. It's one of my favorite topics, uh, so I'm glad that we're sitting down to, to talk about it and then go experience it tomorrow. Yeah. So what, what got you guys interested in the topic? Um, I spend a lot of time in nature, like almost whenever I can, especially when it's when it's warm out. Mm-hmm. Even now, though, when it's cold, I like to snowboard. I like seeing nature in general, I like hiking a lot, like running, mm-hmm. kayaking, stuff like that. Spending time on water is really nice. Um, yeah. That's pretty much why I wanted to do the topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd probably say the same thing. Like I grew up like small town, so always like exposed to nature. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, and I do, like, agree that, like, it benefits you a lot in different ways. Yeah, I grew up on a hobby farm and was always outside building forts or yeah. going and walking around, hiking through yeah. fields. Uh, so, yeah, it just is, has always been a part of my life, uh, and I always kind of search out for it. Uh, but so turning to some of the, like, research uh, findings, uh, so we, we all agree that it, it seems to help us kind of anecdotally, but uh, what have you found in your research so far? Um, so one study that I looked at talked about the uh, it had 120 people watch a stressful movie and then afterwards they were randomly assigned to watch a video of either an urban setting or a natural setting and the researchers took multiple measures to see like their different states of arousal they used um, heart rate muscle tension skin conductance and pulse transit time, which is like a non-invasive measure that correlates with systolic blood pressure. And they showed that people, that after they watched the stressful movie, the people who watched a nature scene or like a video of nature were, were became less stressed quicker and more completely less stressed than people who were randomly assigned to watch a urban setting. So they showed like, if you just, you don't even have to be in nature to get the the benefits of it sometimes you could just look at nature through like a TV like there's multiple things on Netflix you could watch with it there's a lot of Netflix stuff that yeah. you could watch on, on nature and I think that's pretty helpful and I think although like I feel like actually spending time in nature is much better for you there are certain populations that can't do this like the severely sick and elderly and they would have a hard time getting outside regularly and this info should could be most useful for them and should be used to alter the way we treat them for example I think hospitals should use this to invest in adding more plant, as many plants as possible to their hospital, and then also maybe trying to set up hospitals surrounded by nature and set up more rooms so that they face nature instead of maybe if you're having a surgery room, have that on the inner part of the hospital, but the all the patient rooms, have them have a good view of nature. And you could also use that to paint the what maybe ask people to paint walls. You could probably get that done for free if you just ask people in the community, hey, come in and paint nature scenes on the walls of our of our uh, of our patients' rooms. I feel like that'd be a good way. I don't know if just a scene of nature painted would help, but a video did, so I'm guessing a scene might also help too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, or maybe adding things like a green roof uh, yeah. or yeah. some sort of uh, inner like not park yeah park or you know kind of space for people to walk around in if the, it's just the hospital is in like a, a, a city space what's it called when um like a you said it's green room like a it's glass windows and oh everything. yeah yeah uh, i forgot what that's greenhouse. called greenhouse greenhouse yeah. yeah they could have maybe a greenhouse inside and use that as part of the treatment plan mm-hmm. you know, like therapy this look to more you were talking about more holistic measure uh, holistic mm-hmm. medicine and that's kind of like a holistic way to, to go about things maybe you have a hospital with a green room in it so that mm-hmm. people can experience nature without having to leave the hospital yeah i feel like that'd be a good idea and like kind of like going off of that like not even in hospitals but in like workplace environments mm-hmm. um in like one of our researchers i was reading how like biophilia it's like something that's what it's called and it's like humans innate attraction to nature Mm -hmm. so if you have like a workplace that is like um like really yeah like a green workplace kind of and like really environmentally like um i don't know what you would say like yeah right right um it would like help showcase like that company's efforts to um be like more environmentally responsible Mm -hmm. and then um therefore like that would help like with them kind of in an economical way 
And then as well as like, it's considered kind of like a, a luxury for employees to be working in like an environment like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I think something that people are turning towards. Uh, like I said, those green roofs where you can like grow gardens, have uh, plantings, have people go out, be outside. Mm. Uh, it helps kind of reduce your carbon footprint, um, makes your employees happier, uh, healthier, hopefully more productive than I guess if we're looking at bottom lines in businesses. Going off of the study I talked about that had people watch a stressful video and then either watch urban setting or nature setting, there's another study now that's very, it's fairly similar to this and more related to hospitals. So they looked at, I think it was 46 patients in a Pennsylvania hospital from 1972 to 1981, and they matched them, so like same age, same mm-hmm. condition, very similar in like everything that happened to them. And all that was different was whether or not they had a room with a view of nature, like mm-hmm. a window of nature, or a room that had no view. So um, they saw that the people that had a room with a view of nature were in the hospital for a shorter amount of period, so they recovered quicker. And the nurses had like less negative comments on it, like like they were more active, more healthy, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like it looks like that, like just having a view, like a window with a view of nature, is pretty helpful. For, I mean, it's a pretty small study, only 46 patients, but it shows that having a view of nature could be helpful for your recovery. Mm-hmm. I think that goes back to like what I was saying, you should invest, you should invest, it, hospitals should invest in having more green stuff in them to mm-hmm. try and improve people's well-being. And then there was another study that we found, let me try to pull it up. It's about the one about the walks. Uh, that one too, I was going to go to the one that, oh, here it is. So there's a study that took 420 subjects across and distributed them across 35 forests throughout Japan and then compared those subjects to a control group that sat in an urban area. And the people that were sitting in a natural surrounding, like in the forest, were found to have a 12.4% a decrease in levels of cortisol, 7% decrease in sympathetic nervous activity, so the fight or flight, the the like stress part of yeah. the, the fight or flight thing. Mm-hmm. And then a 1.4% decrease in st- systolic blood pressure and 5.8% decrease in heart rate. So, oh, and they also noted that parasympathetic nervous activity was enhanced by 55% and an, an immune function was measured by natural killer cell activity increased by, th- I think this is, I think this part was for the um no no this is still for parasympathetic is the uh like the rest and digest part right, right? Yep. yeah so I don't know how they measured that but fifty five percent for parasympathetic nervous activity was enhan- was boosted and then said immune function also but I thought that was kind of a cool study you could talk about the ninety minute study the ninety minute walk study. okay um there was like a study that had um a number of people take a ninety minute walk and. It was found that just like a 90 minute walk in nature reduced rumination. And then it also like reduced uh, the neural activity in the prefrontal cortex, which I like, I had to look that up, but it was responsible for like mediating like conflicting thoughts and stuff like that. Um, But if people like say they walk through an urban setting for 90 minutes, it had had, like no um, effects. So Mm -hmm. you're just kind of like, walking but I mean if you're in nature um like it reduces your cortisol levels um decreased rumination decreased neural activity and then um also like if you have uh high cortisol levels I read like it can lead to weight gain anxiety hormonal imbalances infertility and sleep disorders so just walking can like help prevent that yeah so kind of shifting gears a, a, a little bit here uh thinking of of, uh, of nature and and uh, its beneficial um kind of effects on stress is, is there anything that you guys like to promote uh, here in the, the local dubuque area definitely um the mines of spain there's multiple spots there that are awesome to explore it's mm-hmm. so pretty i mean compared to like other nature reserves it's yeah. kind of small but like for dubuque it's pretty big like mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff to explore there's 21 miles of trails. There's six miles that are used for cross-country skiing when the mm-hmm. snow prevents. Um, my favorite, my two favorite spots are either Horseshoe Bluff, which is a trail that goes, I know you can't see it in the podcast, but right. like goes like up to like a huge ass peak yeah. and then 
You could like look over the Mississippi. It's great for sunrises. You could either go the long way to get up, or I like going. There's like a shorter, more like steep way to get up that goes up like straight. Yeah, yeah, straight to the um, like to the peak part, to the part where like it's really there's a huge rock to sit on. Mm-hmm. It's great for watching sunrises. Um, there's one other place that I really like there. And it's Eagle Scout Trail, and it's kind of off to the side. Like most people hang out in like the main area. Eagle Scout Trail is farther down the Mississippi, and there's like another parking lot that you could go to to get there. That's like because otherwise, if you park in like the normal area, mm-hmm. you have to walk like eight miles to yeah. get to. So, <laughs> so it's it's nicer to to park in the other area. So, but we like I park like right there, and oh, then fifty two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I park over there, and then we walk down, and right around here on Eagle Scout, kind of far away, like there's, it's like a three or four mile walk, but yeah. there's an abandoned barn, like a homestead that's really mm-hmm. cool, and there's like a huge grain silo that I've climbed up, and it's like, you could see pretty far when it, like the, the dome part of it is gone, but there's mm-hmm. still like a huge cylinder, so that part's really cool. Catfish Creek is huge and branches off into a bunch of other little, like smaller creeks, Yeah. and kayaking through that's really fun. Um, the Julian Dubuque Monument there is also really cool, and I don't think we're, you're not supposed to go past it, but there's a chain link fence that goes around <laughs> it, and there's a hole in the chain link fence, you know. Yeah. Just happen to walk through there one day, yeah. and there's a huge flat rock that's perfect for watching stuff, for stargazing. I've gone there for okay. a few meteor showers, mm-hmm. and it's real like, you get a huge view of most of the sky. The only part you can't see is, like, maybe, like, an eighth of it right behind you. Mm-hmm. But um, that spot's really cool. There's uh, Eagle Point Park. Eagle oh, Point right. Park mm-hmm. is really cool. Yeah. It's lots of... Eagles hang out there, right. <laughs> yeah. hence the name. But um, it's a really high spot in Dubuque. You overlook the Mississippi. It's great. I like it for longboarding. Like, there's mm-hmm. nice little hills in it that are kind of safe because yeah. there's no cars going through it. So it's really fun for that. Um, just fun to explore. There's a little, like, cabin that you could climb on top of there. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's a fun spot to hang out and watch the Mississippi. Um, on top of that, there's also the Makokata Caves are really cool. It's, like, kind of. minutes? Yeah, it's, it's not too far. But, I mean, it's a decent little drive if you want to go there. But it's smaller than the Mines of Spain, but mm-hmm. a lot more stuff packed into one little spot. Yeah. There's a lot. There's caves there, obviously. Right. Um, there's some really cool ones. Uh, what else? The Galena River, I haven't been there yet, but mm-hmm. they have kayaking rent. You could rent kayaks yep. or stuff. So you rent the kayak, and then you travel down the river, and then they pick it up and pick you up and bring you back, mm-hmm. which I found to be pretty cool. And it's pretty, it's pretty big too. It's not like yeah. a, it's the the Catfish Creek is fairly small. Right. Like at most points, it's about as wide as this room, mm-hmm. if not smaller. Yeah. And at a lot of points, it's too um, shallow to uh, kayak through. Right. You have to like I like either put my paddle down and like push myself along mm-hmm. um, with my hands, or I get out and just walk. But um, yeah, there's some other places around here there's some cool spots in wisconsin if you're traveling towards madison Mm -hmm. on the way there there's a bunch of like those um they're always like ground signs that like is something naturey right cave of the mounds is up there that's kind of cool there's also like an arboretum and botanical gardens in the beach Mm -hmm. i've yet to be that yeah Yeah, off of jfk yeah the northwest arterial there's another place. It's I, it's some trails that I haven't been to yet. I think they're called the Heritage Trails, mm-hmm. and that's like if you're going towards Finley La- Finley's Landing, yep. which is, uh, Finley's Landing is another cool spot mm-hmm. I haven't thought about yet. But if you're going towards Finley's Landing, you take Central, and then Central turns into like a highway. I yep. forgot what road it is, but 52. yeah. And then on the side of that, there's a uh, the Heritage Trails, which look like they could be pretty cool. Yeah, Finley's yeah. Landing is really cool. It's a beach like. 30, 40 minutes from here, not not too far, and that, that place is pretty fun. Yeah, and the Heritage Trail actually goes all the way to Dyersville and, and back, so it's about 52 miles round trip That's to, huge. to go back. That's huge. really there. big. Uh, but I, th- I think we'll wrap it up there, so thank you both for coming in, and I uh, look forward to it tomorrow. Yeah.